Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making Bo Lo Bao, also known as Pineapple Bao, but it has nothing to do with pineapple. It is because the top sugary skin is golden brown, and the pattern looks like a pineapple. I'm going to use a kitchen mixer to help me do the kneading process. Thanks so much to my Patreons for the ongoing support. Because of all your help, I'm able to spend some money to buy this. It helps me save a lot of time when I'm making batters and those. Thanks so much. I can't wait to get started. In the mixing bowl, add ten ounces of bread flour, one point five ounces of sugar, half tablespoon of yeast, one tablespoon of milk powder. One egg, three eighth teaspoon of salt. Then we use the paddle and mix this together for one minute at low speed. Slowly pour in four point five ounces of milk from the side of the bowl. The milk is slightly warm. It is good to activate the yeast. If you just took it out from the fridge. Don't use it immediately. Warm it up in hot water or in a microwave. Let this run on low speed for a few minutes. When it looks like this, turn off the mixer. Remove the paddle and scrape the dough off. Add one ounce of room temperature butter. Use a spatula to scrape down the dough on the side of the bowl so they can be easier to incorporate. It. You might need to do this few more times during the kneading. Use the hook attachment and let it run for about ten minutes on medium speed, and we'll be right back. The dough is looking pretty good. Let's have a check. It shouldn't stick to your hands at all. Pull it gently, and you can see it is very stretchy. That is how you know the dough is ready. If you don't have a standard mixer, it will take about thirteen to fifteen minutes kneading by hand to get this texture. Roll it into a round shape. Put it in a bowl. Cover it with a damp towel and put this in a proofing oven for fifty minutes. My first proof is at eighty-five degrees Fahrenheit. You will need to adjust the time depends on the temperature. I just took out the dough from the oven. Now the size is about one point five times than before. Dip your finger with some dry flour and poke a hole in the middle of the dough. You can see that the hole doesn't bounce back immediately. That means you can start the next process. Scrape the dough on the mat and use your hand to push out most of the air, like this. Fold it back into a dough. The amount I gave is enough to make eight pineapple buns, so we will divide it into eight even pieces. Roll each piece into a bun shape. Once you're done with all of them, cover it with a slightly damp towel for fifteen minutes. At the same time, let's make the pineapple skin. Combine two point two ounces of butter and one point eight ounces of sugar powder. It is pretty easy. It will take less than two minutes to get it like this. Then you add in one ounce of egg.
mix it until it looks like this. Get a sieve. Put 4.3 ounces of cake flour, 1.5 tablespoon of milk powder, and 3 eighth teaspoon of salt. Let them go through it. Mix everything together. I want you to do a roughly mix. It should take about two or three minutes to get it like this. If you over mix it, the mixture will become more fluent and it will be difficult to handle. Form it into a square, then divide it into eight pieces. It doesn't look that even, so I just adjust it a little bit. Shape it into a thin round piece. In the same time, the dough should be ready. You just use the thin piece to cover the top of the dough, like that. Once you are done with all of them, use something sharp to make a pineapple pattern. At this point, if you want to save them, leave some space between each other and freeze them. Put them in a sealable bag. It should last one month in the freezer. Whenever you want to eat them again, cover it with a damp towel and let it sit in the fridge overnight. Then you can bake it the next day. I saved four pineapple buns in the freezer. For the rest, we will do the second proof. Cover it with a light damp towel and put it in the proof oven to rise for 40 minutes. My second proof is at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. You will need to adjust the time depending on the temperature. Take it out and have a check. They look really good. The size has become 1.5 times bigger than before. Gently touch the side. You can feel that it is fluffy inside. Brush it with a thin layer of egg yolk to give it a nice color and we are ready to bake. Preheat the oven to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Put this in the bottom of the rack. Because every oven is different and bread is sensitive. So this could take anywhere between 12 to 18 minutes. So keep an eye on it. Once you see it looks like this, you know it's done. They look beautiful, right? Even though the pineapple pattern is not that perfect. But let's open one. It is really soft inside. The pineapple skin tastes kind of like a crispy cookie, very sweet. Just like the way how I like. We usually eat this as breakfast or eat it at afternoon tea time. Drink a cup of Hong Kong style milk tea. What a beautiful day. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know how it went. As always, the recipe is going to be in the description. You can check that out. If you like Chinese food, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episode. If you want to know more about me and support me, check out my Patreon link. And I'll see you next time. Bye.